This video is going to look at how you use lost mode to find a misplaced or lost or stolen iPhone or iPad. On your iPad, you should download the app Find My iPhone. Now it works, it will find iPads even though it says Find My iPhone. And you need to set up Find My iPhone on your iPad. So go into Settings, iCloud and then find my iPad, turn it on. And that will set it up. If you've lost your iPad, then there's no point using the uh, Find My iPhone app on the iPad. You need another way. And you can use the iCloud.com website, sign into your Apple account, where you can then use Find My iPhone. So go to iCloud.com and sign in. So once you've signed in, there is a find my iPhone option. So if I click that, it will locate any of your iDevices on a map. Now I've zoomed out of the map just so you can't see my address. Uh, and then it'll give you a little green dot. So any of the devices that are online will have a green dot and any device that has a gray dot is offline. If you've got more than one iDevice, which I have, you can click all devices and then select the one you want to locate. So if I wanted to locate my iPad Air, I would click that. At the moment I'm recording this on the iMac. I click iPad Air and now I've got some options. I can play a sound and that sound will play on the iPad. So let's click that. leave the iPad up on the left there so you can see what happens when I actually click it. So if I play a sound, that sound rings on the iPad until you turn it off. So this is the message that it displays on the iPad. So when I tap OK, that sound is gone and I will get an email to indicate that that alert has been activated. Uh, and that play sound is good if you've misplaced your iPad in your house, say if it's under the bed or under the couch and you, you can't find it, that's a, a good way to, to locate it. If your iPad or iPhone is lost or misplaced or stolen, then use lost mode. So if I click lost mode, I have got a passcode set up on the iPad, which is why when I go into lost mode, I get the option to put a phone number in. If I didn't have a passcode already set up, then it would uh, ask me to input a passcode and that code would be required before the iPad can be unlocked. So in this case, I've already got a passcode, so it asks me for a phone number. So let's just put a phone number in, just in any number you like. So it's just any number, it's no, not my phone number, I'm just making it up. And then next, uh, it, is, it is a valid number, even though it's incorrect. I'm going to use it. And then it gives you a message. So this is the, the default message, so you can retain that message or you can add more of your own. So maybe I'll put uh, reward $100 because uh, unless you know the passcode, you can't do anything with this iPad. It's basically a brick. So the iPad's going to be locked using its existing passcode. So as soon as I go done, that message will be sent to that iPad. So this is what comes up on the iPad and asks you to call that number. It gives you a message. So unless you know that passcode, so I can swipe, but I need to know that passcode before I can do anything. So lost mode will also track it on a map so I can see with the green dot where the, the iPad is actually located and if it moves I can still keep tracking it. If it's offline then the, the message will still be sent once it does come online. If you don't like the map you can also change down the bottom here if I like the hybrid map better because it's going to give me the actual roads and uh, the terrain. So you can change the map, or you can just have the satellite map, which will give you the satellite without the road names. Now, if uh, none of that works, you can also erase the iPad. So you'll get 
a message to ensure you really want to do that. And if I click erase, then all content, all settings uh, will be erased. And if uh, it's lost, then that's the most effective way. At least the data is secure. Just cancel if you don't want that to happen. Now, all of these options are also available on the iPhone in the iPhone app. So you could have somebody else's iPhone or iPad and you could be using the Find My iPhone on someone else's device because obviously yours is lost. So I can go into the app and sign in to my account. So if you're using somebody else's iDevice, then you can just sign into your own account. So let's pause while I do that. And then you get the, the similar options to get all devices up the top here I tap my devices and I get a list of all my Apple devices again green dot is online gray dot is offline so I could look at my iMac and find out where it was and again you've got some play sound lock and erase the Mac so the same options can be used on the find my iPhone app or use iCloud.com to try and locate a lost or misplaced or stolen iPad. That's all for this video.